Hey everybody, Rodaman here. Thanks for tuning in to Stellaris Children of Adam. So recap of last episode. The we have are after our spaceport. Thanks, game, for cutting in. We are going up against the Volert Horde, who is the mid-game crisis con, the great conate. And uh I think I'm doing pretty well. Yeah. I've punched a, a few ships here or there. Uh, we definitely, definitely need to be careful because it would be very easy for us to lose everything. Lose all our fleets. Uh, so I am, you know, floating like a butterfly and stinging like a bee. little reference to maybe a last series, but uh, yeah, there we have it. Okay, so what I'm planning on doing here is getting my ships nice and upgraded and uh, repaired and then redeploying them. Uh, as you can see here, I can use Elthir to warp back to uh, Curier Atom, which is pretty convenient. And that's what I'm going to do. I think I've punched enough of a hole to slow down their war machine, and uh, that will allow me some time to putz about my own, my own uh, empire, making sure that everything is upgraded and repaired and streamlining the economy, I guess is uh, the way to put it. We do, of course, have some new worlds out here. Uh, Isold will soon be terraformed. Complete. That's really exciting. Because, uh, yeah, well, basically the long and short of it, it was an Arctic world, I didn't want it, but I didn't get rid of it. And then I was stuck with it, and now it's finally going to... Uh, it's finally going to be terraformed to make us happy. So, if we take a look at the factions here... My militarists are not super happy. Have granted us new wisdom. I need to conquer some people for them to be happier. Okay. Well, they're being fussy. Wah, wah, wah. Uh, here we go. I'm going to get... I'm going to try to push the Elgate research ahead. In fact, let's go sell some... Ooh, I almost have enough money. I was going to say let's go sell some stuff in order to be able to afford a little bit more Elgate research. There we go. The 5K. I accidentally hit Tilde. Um... So now, let's talk to the Curator Order, and... Oh, they don't have insight for me yet. I have to wait a little bit longer. Uh, but while I'm thinking of that, let's talk to you guys. And... They need time as well. Okay, so clearly no one is going to trade anything with us for right now. Now, they ballooned out. They started just here, and they ballooned out pretty quickly. Uh, you really do have to rally to slow them down and stop them. And if you don't, you end up with just a mega empire that can be a real pain in the behind in the long run, which is something I absolutely do not want. Complete. Right, I just got construction complete. The spirits have granted us new wisdom. Which means our reinforcing uh, ships are done. Uh, let's take a look here. New research. Uh, I can get rid of some old research stuff pretty quickly. I'm just going to do that, get it off the list. There were plenty of good options, but uh, sometimes I just want it off the list. All right, Surveyor, uh, our Surveyor Relic just activated, and we've got... Oh, okay. Uh, I'm just going to make a new construction ship because our other one is really, really, really far away. Because we are going to want the Sagathia uh, Engineering Research ASAP. That sounds really good to me. A lot of people are closing their borders to me. Uh, I think, did the Zanami just do that? Okay. Yeah, the Zanami almost don't exist because of the annexation. Uh, you know how it goes. Alright, so our uh, science ship finally got to U Ukalian or whatever you want to call it. Uh, looks like he's about to get kicked out of Kalyan because it looks like the um, construction the horde is redeploying one of their fleets. And I am currently upgrading my fleet. Uh, I guess what I'm gonna do is for all that um, for all that money I just built up, I am going to instead uh, beef up my fleets a little bit. So let's go to the fleet manager. Uh, so between these two fleets, one has... Well, I can't afford much, can I? Alright, 
I beefed him up a little bit. Just barely. It's the thought that counts. Every ship will help, I think. We are 16 months out from New Unity. My research is doing pretty good. What about influence? Any way to spend this? Uh, I don't have a lot of rivals, so I could rival some additional people. Um, if there are even viable rivals. Okay, the Astani Horde are viable, so let's go rival them. And... Yeah, uh, no, I guess the Lachics are... But they're my tribute. I have to basically sort by relative power. Uh, and only three empires are viable. Once they're pathetic, they're no longer viable. But the uh, Latchics here are actually my subject. So I, I can't... It doesn't make sense to rival them. Oh well. I guess I'm going to have a limited amount of... Uh... Huh. So the... Ancient Caretakers, which is a fallen empire, wants to inoculate my people. And that will make everyone unhappy. Now, normally I would decline this, but uh, I'm not Our an anti-vaxxer. So, yeah, I will allow for that. Role-playing wise. We do believe in science, our community. Alright, so my, um, my science ship... Just fled Kalyan because their uh, their fleet deployed there. Uh, so I'm really eager to uh, get my fleet back in that neighborhood. Uh, because the longer I'm away, the more messed up things are going to happen. Basically, people's territories are going to collapse. So what I'm trying to Our do is just convert, convert everything over to... Uh, To alloys as I repair my f or upgrade my fleets. The spirits have granted us new wisdom. I got that energy siphon. Um, gene clinics wouldn't be terrible, but I don't know how much I'm going to use them. I'm just going to go with the flagella. I'm just going to get rid of the uh, hang it on research that I have partial credit on. Might as well. All right, so Marty Sleet is sort of waiting for more. Um, alloys in order to be upgrading as you can see every time i buy alloys it immediately gets uh consumed that just means that uh there's a bunch of ships that just don't have enough alloys to upgrade all right what could you offer us you want to offer a governor no i don't want your governors quit offering that all right so 94 percent 99 our ships have done. been improved now we have new and improved ships. Uh, so taking a look at the ship designer, uh, we are fielding the Cephalu, which have tier four or five, excuse me, missiles, and um, hyper shields. Yeah, they're they're pretty tough. Uh, the cruisers, likewise, pretty good. Yeah, I'm very happy with my current ship loadout. Uh, as you can see, I've gone. I have a pretty significantly large fleet at this point. Oh, and we still actually have another cruiser that is being manufactured rolling off the line. Construction complete. Alright, I got that Northern Lithorius um, mineral vein. And I think what I'm going to do is idle this construction ship uh, maybe somewhere around Isio. So it can get the eastern part of my territory. And then the other construction ship that I manufactured and never rolled out is going to head down to Sagathia. Construction complete. The science ship that uh, got attacked by their fleet is at uh, Curie here. And I'm going to have him um, come to Zemeltolon. Construction complete. So that he can break down the uh, debris from the Khan's fleet. I'm just waiting for him to fully heal first. Alright, I can reactivate my surveyor, and that just gave me a ton of physics research at Alstairs. Holy moly, that surveyor is... I don't want to use the word overpowered, but I think it would be pretty appropriate. Alright, Tectus and Marty are ready to deploy. They're ready to go on the warpath, and uh, who am I to decline them warpathing? 
Uh, the shroud can be communicated with, which means I need to build up a little bit more money. I don't know why I have to pay a psionic psychic being, but, you know, it is the way it is. All right, so shroud reaching in. And I got psionic shields. That is phenomenal. Uh, it was my only option, but so if we take a look here, uh, well, maybe I unlocked the research for it. I didn't actually instantly get it. Uh, but sonic shields would be engineering. Oh, let me just, I'll just have them continue that. Maybe I didn't get sonic shields. Maybe I attempted it and I just didn't glance at it correctly. Alright, so I do have one reinforcing ship heading my way. It's at Elthir now. Uh, let's see if Chores Compass... Yeah, here we go. Buying the last reliquary. Gave me a whole bucket of food. And I'm going to play the slots with my... Nope, I don't have enough coin left. Perfect. I didn't really want to play the slots. Alright, so let's sell this bucket of food. And then maybe try talking to the uh, curators. There we go. So now I have one more Elgate research. So we have four out of seven. I'll have five out of ten, seven at the end of my um, engineering, uh, current engineering queue. Uh, Tectus, you are going to follow Marty. Marty, you are going to go get aggressive. The Atheli are basically disappearing. They essentially, they do, they don't even have a populated, oh no, Pentarum is their populated world. Not that I really want to save my neighbors, but if there's, if all my neighbors are dead, there's really no one left to subjugate, right? So part of it is like, you can't kill off everyone or there's not going to be anyone left for me to mess with. You know, don't, don't poop in my, uh, in my sandbox. So here we go. Marty's fleet is going head to head with their fleet. Should be a pretty easy fight. This is a really the small have fleet. Us new wisdom. I got that flagella. All right, here's the psionic shields that I really wanted. They are incredibly strong. It's going to take a long time to research them, but I would be a fool not to. Uh, so just to put a point of reference on this, these shields are 1440 strength, 12.5 daily regen. Uh, the last shields I had, which should be in physics research are 870, 1440 to 870, and then daily region of 12.5 to 8.7. They're incredibly good. And um, only psychic uh, nations can even ever get them. Uh, you could run, but I'm gonna catch you. All right, we just uh, got another tradition. We're gonna finish off the expansion tree. Once I adapt all the expansion trees, um, all of my traditional planets will be able to build one more district. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Basically, planet size go up by one. No complaints for me. That's a that's a good finishing uh, tree. All right, let's check in on our planets. Uh, Megaton's probably actually overdeveloped. It has. Um, a lot of spare housing and jobs. Uh, here we have... Ah, uh, no, I could wait until I have one spare job or something. But let's watch this fleet battle. It won't be much to watch because we're going to squish it so quick. It's already gone. Blink and you'll miss it. But we do have a science ship that is here to research the large rail guns and ripper auto cannons and whatever else we can get from uh, destroying their fleets. Now, they do have another... Oh, you know what? Yeah. I'm going to double back, actually. They have another uh, fleet right here ripping up um, uh, these guys. Actually, what's weird is, didn't the Alvanian entity... Yeah, they, uh, they're they a vassal underneath the horde, so I really don't know what their fleet is doing there. Uh, smashing vassal. That doesn't make any much sense to me, but, you know, what do I know? They can police their own however they want. So, back to... Planet management uh, is old here. Definitely could use some additional jobs, but I think what I'll do is set them up with a food processing facility first. 
Here we could use jobs as well. Uh, what could I do? I could do alloy foundry, maybe. At Cromwell. And the other worlds are just fine. Alright, so here's a 9k fleet that I'm going to punch up. It's really not that hard for me to do, considering how much larger my ships are. I'm a 37k fleet. I'm, I'm just two fleets, but, you know, effectively 37k or so. Or, I'm ready, 25k, something like that. Okay, so we lost a few Corvettes that Debris I can replace. Analyzed. Not a big deal. And they're down yet another fleet, so that works for me. Looks like they have another attack fleet coming, maybe to Pentarthum or whatever it's called. Uh, our scientist is just going to tag along and uh, grab all the research that he can. Uh, maybe the one at SEO will just hang out at Adam. ECO, whatever you want to call it. Alright, so here is our replacement Corvettes that we lost. Construction complete. Adam Starbase just finished construction. That means all of the uh, replacement ships are rolling off the line. Oh, looks like the Latchix here, my tribute, actually is uh, somewhat on the attack. That's interesting. That's welcome news that I'm not the only one out here. I can't say that their fleet's particularly large. It's a third of the size of any of the um, the Horde's fleets. But hey, you know, at least you're trying. A David against a Goliath. Heretic station engaged. The spirits have granted us new wisdom. Okay, so... We have new wisdom. Particle lances are incredible. That's going to be uh, a corner piece to my attack. I'm going to uh, get research alternatives so I have more choices when I am offered research. Complete. And then what I'm going to do is complete. start to um, start to uh, my the Latchix here are dead, so I'm not going to worry about the Latchix. I'm going to start to um, recapture territory, or rather, not even recapture it, just remove the presence of the horde from territory. Heretic station engaged. The right. spirits have Yaman. granted us new wisdom. We just got the Elgate insight. Uh let's see, what do we want? Uh maybe more alloy. Looking good, looking good. Let's convert some resources around. Show me your wares. Uh, new. Oh! Actually, I'll take that. The, the Numistic Shrine is something I will comp for. So I need to give them, what, 4k energy? There you go. So the new mystic shrine here uh, that I just bought off of the um, the uh, caravaneers will uh, will benefit me a bit. Uh, but let's focus on the fight for now. I'm gonna slow it down so I don't miss anything. So we could redo population growth here, and really everywhere. Uh, I really should um, So here's the Numistic Shrine. It gives merchant and priest jobs, kind of a mix of research engaged. and uh, unity. And we'll get that cranked out. Now I can only ever make one of them. Or no, maybe I, maybe I can make more than one. Yeah, looks like I can make more than one, so we will do that. We are a, a uh, Empire of Unity, are we not? Alright, 
They're still trying to sell me a governor. I keep saying no. They really don't understand no. Um, what I was going to do is... Start to make Tectus' fleet roughly as strong as uh, Marty's. So I am sort of reinforcing them as we go. I don't want to have to head all the way back to home to do it. Because uh, I want to do... I want to pressure the enemies. But um, yeah, we're doing a pretty good job of uh, slowing them down. At least their eastern expansion. Complete. I can't really go everywhere at once. Alright, we're going to want to hit this fleet. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? They are almost certainly coming my way. Let me just sit back and let them do that. Uh, another thing I could do is in the ship design, in battleships, replace the forward section with this spinal mount. And give them the particle lances, which are incredible. And we'll just have to redesign or retool these fleets when I have the chance. So the only problem with my current ships are I'm really bad at um, harming shields. Um, I could, of course, set up carrier cores and stuff like that. But, um, yeah, my large ships aren't really missile ships. It's just the way it is. All right, you finished constructing all that research. We'll have you hang out at Izzled. Uh, this fleet is coming my way, so I don't need to go against it. I can just sit back and wait. We need some jobs here. Construction complete. There we go. We got the Nemistic Shrine. My unity will go up. And let's shrine up everywhere else that we can. I don't necessarily have space everywhere else, but um, it's a pretty handy, handy building. Okay, you bet. Oh, yeah, they're coming. Yep, here we go. Vrul. I'm going to use my unity to increase my minerals and my food. We have a... Um... Oh, and shield boost and exotic fuel. Yeah, let's just full, full invest in our economy complete. here. And this is one of their galleon fleets. They're big galleons that I'm going against. And as you can see, there are re reinforcements flooding in as we fight. I love it. Alright, I uh, did take some losses. So I'm going to sell off, again, more resources. As you can probably see, I should just start to make more alloys. Um... Alright, so now my fleets have reinforced. Let's have them uh, jump around and stop the expansion of the uh, of the borders. I'm going to have my scientists focus on uh, debris. None of these things I'm surveying here are going to yield anomalies because they've been surveyed by other empires. So there's really not uh, like a economic or really any benefit whatsoever surveying them other than I'll know what's on the systems which I guess could be its own reward the spirits have granted us new wisdom All right, research alternatives that gives us more advanced combat roles I absolutely want that's, that's a no-brainer and um, the Shabak Ravagers are demanding tribute now, where are you? You are down here. They're actually just a, a hop or two away from my territory, which would be really, really annoying. So I'm at, I know it isn't great, but I'm actually going to appease them. Uh, the reason I'm going to appease them is I can't fight a two-front war, and I don't really want them on my doorstep. And uh, they're not asking for much. Construction complete. But I'll have to absolutely crush them in the future. Alright, so Zerk here is their capital, and that's actually where I'm going to start heading. Oop. 
Just conquered some fleet that got in my way. This will leave a giant vacuum for all the people that border the horde to re um, populate. But uh, doesn't necessarily mean I would do things differently. I'm still going to fight. Now, unfortunately for me, my armor is kind of low on my fleets. And I don't really have an allied um, starbase I can uh, I can repair at. Waskar maybe, but I'm just going to push ahead. My ships will be sad, but and I'll lose some. But I don't want to stop the, the, the momentum. The spirits have granted us new wisdom. All right, got coil guns because I researched debris. I didn't even complete. I didn't even focus on coil guns. There is some sort of system that no one's gone to, so this is probably some leviathan. Some terrible ancient power sitting on that tile. I don't really see that they have... Yeah, they don't really have many fleets left. Um, I could probably... All the fleets that I currently see of their empire, uh, it seems like I could fight all at once. Um, which is how deflated they've become. Construction complete. <laughs> They acted like a big balloon trying to inflate into the universe, and I acted like a spear to pop that balloon. Focusing all of my power into one mega fleet. Mega armada. And, uh... As a result... Totally punching holes into their, uh, their big old empire. I'm gonna hop, I'm gonna take a quick detour to Jundius. I'm kinda curious where this, um... Wormhole leads. It might be beneficial for me to know. And... It probably leads here. It almost certainly leads there. Now the Lachex seems to be um, annexing some territory down here, which is good. Oh, and some of my reinforcements got cut off. Mm, I don't like that. Alright, Tectus' fleet is a lot healthier than Marty's. But uh, they'll 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 be fine. The spirits have granted us new wisdom. All right, more ally. Perfect. Uh, let's go research whirlwind missiles, or actually the the top tier armor. That's kind of a no brainer as well. Uh, my science ship is researching the debris here for some science and then we'll hop through this wormhole and probably get killed with by whatever's on the other side to be honest but i just need to know all right their capital's here i don't really see a lot of fleets to protect it i'm looking around i'm really not i'm seeing a 9k here Construction complete and that's about it i saw like a 4k somewhere else they really just don't have the numbers anymore All right, so Marty Zamata, we will be heading to their capital. See how they like being messed with at home. The Lachuk's really annex they are annexing choke points. That's cool. Or really Varul was the choke point. They are annexing past choke points, which I don't I can't say I fully understand, but you know, whatever. All right, Zerk. Zerk here. Uh, yeah, you are the capital. Not much of a capital. Really not much of a capital at all. It hasn't really been developed. They've just been going to war. 
All right, so as imagined, the other side is this um, trinary system. I'm going to... Evading heretics. Yeah, so there's a sonic entity on the other side of it. Uh, that's exactly pretty much what I had thought. So my scientist is alive because I told him to go on a passive evasion stance. So the moment he saw enemies, he just got out of dodge. Now, despite the fact that this is capital, there's, like, no armies guarding it. So I'm just going to immediately land my army. And, of course, this is the first time that my Sonic troops are going to be deployed. Um, sonic tr troops... So the way to kill an enemy army is either by sheer force, you know, combat, or morale, making them rout. And the Sonic armies make enemies rout very effectively. They have... Well, well let me show you. Um... This is a traditional army. So uh, they have two, let's just say two and a half to five damage rounding. And then, you know, like three and a quarter to five, five, five point five morale damage. Um, if we take a look at the Sonics, uh, as you can see, the morale damage is a lot, lot, lot higher. And the morale is higher too. Our champions are making planet fall. May the spirits protect them. The spirits have granted us new wisdom. All right, got new research here. The advanced combat rolls. All right, let's get uh, Positronic AI, which is not what I clicked on. There we go. All right, your capital is mine. Our champions have secured a heathen planet. And let's take a look. I can either add it to my empire or liberate it. And I'm just going to liberate it. I don't want it. I don't want to own it. Um, I gave it back to the Alvanians, which is kind of funny because they are still tributes underneath the um, the Khan. So it's like, uh, I gave it to the enemies, but that's okay. Uh, I'm fine with that. I didn't really want to own a planet this far away from my core. As it comes with um, sizable penalties, honestly. So I'm moving against some of their fleets here. I'm moving against... Oops, survey activate at Sooth. I'm already getting the trade value at Sooth. In fact, let's pause a moment, making sure I don't have any piracy, and I don't. You'd see uh, red skulls if I had piracy anywhere. Little red pirate skulls. Okay, hello fleet. You weren't expecting me. I'm here to destroy you. So far, I've lost, like, two Corvettes, and they lost a fleet. And the Great Khan meets defeat. I just formally beat the Great Khan. Yep. Don't come into my galaxy expecting a free meal. I will cut you deep. So, uh, here's the weird thing. Uh, the Great Khan meets defeat like the actual leader but uh they still have territory i just need to start punching holes into their the remaining fleets and then uh they'll formally collapse all right here's the last um tradition so new life is extra pop growth and then i get the expansion that also unlocks an ascension perk um it would allow me to uh, consecrate worlds or the arcology project ooh that's that's tough I like both uh, I'm gonna hold off on now though and wait wait to spend it all right Curie you can make one of the shrines The relic can be reactivated, and there's a bunch of minerals over here. Oh, good. I have a ship near there. I'm making my own systems quite complete. valuable. Uh, so, let's take a look for a moment. I need to start um, dominating for tributes soon, once I'm done with these 
con men. Oh, they put a lot of star bases at this, uh, Izak. Yeah, this is sort of the core where they started. So as you can see here, uh, this is actually Marauder territory. Uh, so the Khan ascends... F oh, here we go. I can reach into the shroud. Nope. Didn't get it, anything. In fact, I got a shroud incursion. That's not good. So I have a corrupted avatar at Turbano. That's really bad. Oh well. Got too greedy. Dug too cyclically deep. So the uh, Khan starts off as an ascended uh, Marauder. So this is what a Marauder's territory looks like. It's like three systems. Um, and they ascend to the Khan where they start to expand. And this is one of the Marauder's homeworlds. Which uh, actually did considerable damage to my fleet. Uh, so I'm going to slow up a minute and uh, have them repair or something. Um... Yeah, let's go over to Waskar to repair. They don't really have... They don't... They won't have the ability to really expand anymore. So I don't really need to be so much on the warpath. The counter warpath, I should say. Uh, and then Wolf Brigade. You should be back to tagging along. Oh, there is a 15k fleet between me and the... Uh, the Khan here. Or the Waskar for repairs. And this fleet is actually complete. the one that's uh, messing with my ships here. Stopping the reinforcements. I, I don't think I can avoid them. Maybe I can. Construction oh, yeah, maybe I can. Complete. But as you can see, I have a lot of reinforcements that, um, that have been routed. It happens. All right, checking up on my worlds here. Um, let's go with um, a city district to add for population. And Farina. Oh, also Isold is now um, terraformed. So it is not so hostile, which is great. But they're going to need uh, food or more jobs, rather. All right, so they did, they did catch me. Yep. They did indeed catch me. And we have a few more reinforcements that are going to go the same the same way. Oh, it looks like their uh, their fleets are actually on the attack. So I'm going to stop, turn around, and fight. Instead of go repair. Where is Tectus fleet? Oh, Tectus, you are no longer following Marty. We'll have you do that. They have a 15k fleet that's about to hop in, and I don't have backup. Darkness has claimed one of our fleets. All right, now we have backup. Now where'd my scientist go? My scientist was routed as well. All right, so here is their big, big fleet. One of their big fleets, I should say. Alright, so, inoculation modifiers have given me pop growth speed and leader lifespan. Yeah, no kidding. Inoculations tend to be good. A second onslaught from the, uh, from the Khan approaches. Complete. So the Khan's not fully tapped out. Just, you know, fairly tapped out. But I'm the only one out, out here fighting this fight, which is kind of annoying to me that, uh, Pretty much everyone else just turtled. Yes, I would like to extend my research deal and probably extend my other one with the uh, artisan troop. No, not yet. But uh, the curators, would you perhaps have Elgate insight? No, not yet. Okay. All right, there goes another one of their big fleets. And yeah, extending the deal. 
All right, so here's the second wave. 15K, 15, what? 15k and a 9k and a 38k all right so if they have a 38k fleet i know what i need to do i need to back up i'm not going to be able to take that out complete. myself not yet at least uh, not until i read or i deploy some additional ships wasn't expecting a second wave but uh we'll happily fight one <laughs> So I have to go through this 15k fleet to even get anywhere remotely safe. I'm going to have these reinforcements just hold up. Or they're just going to get liquidated like everyone else did. And then what I'll do is I'll uh, build up a lot of wealth to retool my fleets. Given making them as good as they can be. Uh, what I'm really eager about is Sonic Shields. So their ships here are very high shield damage. Uh, so what I could do is just have a few Sonic Shields and then mass armor. That would make me uh, more um, tooled, more designed to destroy their fleets. And then um, they are mostly armor ships. They don't actually have a lot of shields. So... Armor and hull damage would be really, really good for weapons. So if I take a look at my own fleet here, for the Curie class, for instance, um, the plasma cannons are really powerful against the... Uh, actually, my current weapon loadout is really good against the Khan, but my current armor and shields loadout is not. If I was to do a fair assessment. Now, I did sort of want to roleplay it. So this isn't straight up like, hey, I'm just going to min-max what's good against them. I did want to have lasers and missiles, and I'm basi basically going to stick to that. Alright, so they have a massive fleet right on my tail. I better get moving. How close are they? Yeah, they're, they're right on my tail. They're really coming hard. Uh, okay, well, let's not let them catch us. For I am the gingerbread man. Construction now, the problem complete. is, I've been relying on purchasing resources so much that I've, like, crashed the alloy market. And alloys are, are essentially unaffordable now. Uh, yeah, <laughs> they're basically unaffordable. Uh, what I'm going to do is not design any new ships until I get Sonic Shields, I think. I'm going to wait until my ships are uh, the best possible. All right, so what I'll do is just have everyone beeline back to Adam. Oh, Zimatulon, you are... Okay, um... Demand tribute. You're going to say no, and then I'm going to declare war and make you a tribute. The crusade of the righteous begins. I'm doing this because... Oh, and... Zanami, you too. Uh, I don't have a clear path to get home because of these guys are closing their border to me. I should have demanded tribute from them as well. So instead what I'll do is just... Uh, I don't have any sort of declare war. Hmm. I could do a claim on one of their territories, I guess. And then that would be my cause for war. So I'll just claim one. And then declare war on you for my claim. The crusade of the righteous begins. And now this it's funny, this allows me a, a open path to my um to Zimatulon which gets me back home. That's actually why I started two wars. Just to get to get home. <laughs> it's kind of ridiculous. Yeah, what I should have done is um demanded tribute from them too so I could have both of them be tributaries. But the claim war is going to be quick and easy for me to close down. 
Alright, so here is... Uh, I'm just kind of waiting on research, aren't I? Whatever happened to the science ship? Oh, it still exists. I guess I can have you start to uh, survey. So yeah, as you can see here, the... Um, the Khan's territory is definitely smaller, but their fleets are just as strong. So I do I do have to sort of watch where I'm going and what I'm doing. And they're sort of on my tail chasing me. The non-believers are fighting amongst themselves. Alright, so my war with the Zanami. Let's take a quick look. Um, the war with the Zanami, a bunch of their allies uh, came with it. So that war includes the Alvath, uh, the Alvathari Fellowship of the Ring, and then also the Triac. Um, Triac doesn't have a direct border with me. They have to go through Astani, and I know that Astani are xenophobes, so no one is going to get through that their uh, border territories. So meaning that this claim war is actually not going to be that easy for me to end. Um, and then even the Atheli have backup as well, which is kind of annoying. So let's see. This, yeah, I can't even status quo end this. And their fleets are right on my tail. So what I'm going to do is rather than try to fight this tribute war, I'm just going to jump to... Uh, Zumatulon and get on out of dodge. And what's funny is they, Zanami, are actually going to lose their planet, their uh, claim that I'm even trying to claim. Surveyor reactivated and Higma just got uh, alloys. Higma's up there, so let's send. Our Tanfir ship... Actually, maybe the Atom ship is closer. It is. I'm pretty certain. Oh, one of their uh, fleets turned back around. I'm not sure why. But that is... Uh, oh, no. They're not turning around. Okay. I was going to say that's an interesting development. Now, I should be pretty close to Sonic Shields. Yeah, I'm getting there. I'm definitely getting there. Let's have... All my fleets get back to Adam. I'm going to speed up time now. Uh, you, at Cheleb, you are going to jump over here and maybe get that debris. Not really highly valuing the life of that scientist. Wow, you are going against the Zanami. Alright. The uh, Khan here isn't even heading my way. Now, I do have this corrupted avatar... That needs killing. Uh, and then, of course, I also have the uh, Grand Dragon. So, yeah, I, I really have a dire need of additional ships. So here's the thing um, that I was thinking. Oh, and a lot of my... I'm not going to re-up these. These are all combat-based, uh, and I'm not about to hop into combat. Um, what I need to start doing is manufacturing some more alloys. Uh, and sort of moving jobs from... Uh, actually, I need consumer goods, too. Need a mix of everything. Now, this world here uh, could use a temple. There we go. The recycling and education campaign I can re-up, though, for sure. Okay. Heretic fleet detected. Alright, so my ships have just been repaired. Um, I do believe... Let's check the fleet manager. Yeah, so there's no other fleets around. Uh, what I'm going to do is... 
kick out one of the Zealot class battleships and put it in a Marty's fleet. So then let's go ahead and manage this. Oh, Marty, you gotta be the admiral of your own fleet. And Tectus. Construction complete. All right, so now I'm reinforcing. And that's going to be very, very, very expensive. Because I have screwed up the price of alloys pretty dramatically in this little galaxy. So Marty's fleets. I'm back to kind of a healthy amount of units. The spirits uh, units. have granted us new wisdom. Tachyon lances are going to be absolutely amazing. So in about 17 months, uh, my ships will have psionic shields and neutronium armor, meaning that they will be so much stronger than they currently are. Um, so it's absolutely worth waiting for that and then rolling out some seriously powerful ships, uh, you know, in, in 18 months or whatever. Complete. That's definitely the way to go about it. So some of my aggro worlds here, uh, like Curie, I think I'm going to start retooling Curie away from aggro worlds to, um, and a lot of these worlds that do this, uh, to construction. So I'm going to replace this building here with an ally forge. Uh, actually, I'm going to replace it with the Numistic Shrines. So I think Cromwell's going to stay a mining world because it's just so good at mining. It has this huge, huge bonuses. But every other world is going to start to become more manufacturing and less raw resource production. So I'm trying to make the fleets roughly the same size and strength, and that way there won't be a alpha fleet and a beta fleet, but just complete. one old big big old fleet. Uh, would I lose sensors? That's fine. I don't need sensors right now. Uh, I have a little micro fleet of my enemy pushing my borders. So I'm going to go do something the about spirits that. Have granted us new wisdom. I got Neutronium Armor. Uh, let's see. Corvette. Build speed and cost. Sure, I'm still using Corvettes. I like little ships. But guys, I uh, just got aware of how long this episode's already are. So uh, if you have any tips, tricks, feedback for me, drop me a line. If you like this series and you like all the combat and you like the uh, action against the con, you gotta let me know. Let me know that uh, uh, what I can do better, and I'll catch you all later. Thanks for watching, guys. Adios.